In this video, I want to review the grid view within your list template. So I'm just in the list section here. I'm going to go ahead and go into one of my lists. And you're used to seeing this view, but there's an additional view over here in the corner. You've got two options. Your little switcher is right here. You can switch over to the grid view. And this will show you your list in a little bit different of a format. So here you can see each of your item types. The prompt, you can actually change from here so you can actually click and edit the text itself while you're here. Uh, you can also change the item type, so instead of yes or no, you can double click here and change the item type here as well. You can also copy and paste, so if you wanted to change all of your yes or no items to a check mark, you could copy and paste over every yes or no item and replace it all with a check mark. When you come up to the header panel here, you'll see the three lines. If you select those three lines, there are some additional options in here. So you can actually come to a filter option. And if you want to look at uh, just your subtitles, for example, so I can deselect all, select my subtitles, and then now I'm looking at all of my subtitles and I'm not looking at any other items. Or if I wanted to look at my signature items, Whatever you need to, you can filter from here, which is very nice, as well as in this item, you have those same filtering options, but you're gonna have a lot more options that are unique due to the fact that this is every item. And then to remove that filter, you'll just come back in here, select all, and it brings you right back. You can also add rows and rearrange the order by just clicking where those two lines are to rearrange the order. Some additional items over here that are really helpful is you can adjust your points, your edit and deactivation options here. So allow the item to be deactivated, allow the NA option, and allow the item to be edited within the location. There's a video specific on list sharing settings that you'll wanna to watch to learn more about allowing deactivate and allowing edits. You also have a color option. You can double click in here and enter in a color code, or again, you can copy and paste. If we come all the way over, when you're working on a list that has measurement items, you have the ability to also adjust your unit and your minimum and maximum ranges. This is very helpful if you are copying over a list, like a temperature log, for example, and you're gonna have those ranges established for each of the items, then you can very easily copy and paste that here as well. You can also see what your QR code and barcode target says. So if you're changing your QR code to a key phrase like dumpster, then you'll see that here as your code. And you can also change it right here. Now, one thing that is very, very helpful when you're in here is when you right click, you have the ability to export this into either an Excel or a CSV. And now you have a copy of that list. This is very helpful if you're sharing your list with someone else, or if you're wanting to adjust the information and you want to start over and create a new list, then you can adjust that in that sheet instead of in a list. And then you can do a bulk import and upload that list. You also have the ability to select multiple items and you can actually delete those rows from this list. So if you're cleaning up, you can just clear out as many items as you need. And then again, you can add in rows to create more items and then rearrange the order. So two very useful views. It just depends on which one you prefer to use and you may use both.